Next, I want to talk to you about column validation. And this is one of my favorite tools that I probably don't use enough, especially for fill-in answers. Column validation allows you to check whether an answer is valid by entering a formula for validation in the formula field. And we'll see that in a moment. But I want to show you how it works. So at the bottom of my survey here, I've got a field called visit date. And I will go ahead and add in a date far off into the future and click on finish for my survey. And notice how I get a message. You cannot enter a date in the future. Please enter a past date. And my survey does not allow me to save. This is how column validation can be used. So let me show you how I set this up. Column validation can be set up in any question in your survey. And this one I have set up in the visit date field. The column validation section is at the bottom of your questions. It's right underneath branching logic. And it might be collapsed, so click on the little plus sign next to the label column validation if it is. You'll notice a formula box pops up along with a user message. If the user enters an invalid answer, the user message field is going to be used to let the user know what they need to do to ensure that they enter a valid answer. So in this example, my user message is, you cannot enter a date in the future, please enter a past date. We saw that in my example. So what was the formula that I used to enable the user message to pop up? Well, I told the system that the visit date needs to be less than or before today. Remember, visit date is the name of the question or the field that I'm in right now. So technically, it's a column or a field in the database that's running behind this. And because it is a column or a field, I have to wrap it around in square brackets. I have my less than symbol, and then I have the function of today. And this all starts with the equal sign. So if you want to know a little bit more about column validation or about the proper syntax on how you set up formulas, like this one, you can click on the link for learn more about proper syntax for formulas in the column validation section. But that's it. My formula again is equal visit date, which is the name of this question or column, less than today. So I or any other user can't put in a date that's after today or in the future. And then the message pops up if they try to and they're not allowed to go ahead and finish the survey until they fix this.